black wing testing today. And we're doing it nice and proper. I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's really not a bad intake from GM. It's not. There are some companies out here that have four and a half inch intakes and they say they pick up, but I've never seen one bit of proof about it. That's right. Oh, there's me lunch. Alright y'all, so we finally got a little black wing 5 inch intake mod. We're going to be testing this today. We don't really know what it's going to do. It might pick up, it might not. This will really be the tell whether it's even worth taking the stock one off. Alright y'all, black wing testing today. And we're doing it nice and proper. This is our typical testing setting. We got the fan, got the exhaust fans, hub dyno, and stock intake and a fresh belt. So we're gonna try the new, well, I'm not say new just yet, but we're gonna prototype. try to see if it works. Yeah, we got a prototype whipped up finally. It's been a long yeah. time coming, but so those that don't know the exact mods on this, because there are some people questioning the mods last time, it's the car that went nines. Yes. I think we were the first one to go nines on this platform. Full bolt ones with our cooling mods. So you have a 945 lower, 23 upper, Hatters, Kong export, uh, RMF kit, throttle body, throttle body, lid, lid, and I think that's it. Yeah. So pretty basic stock intake. That's how it's always been. Yep. It went um, nines like that. Exactly. Um, really, how y'all see it minus the headers is how it went nines. Whatever. 107, 2219. 22.19, so what was it last time, 24? 27. 27? Last time we were here. But it was also 107 grains. Barometer sucks. 29.79. Get a screenshot. Not very good at that. Not very good at all for this. Mm -hmm. know what that means. Can go, baby. Ooh. Yes. yes! Yeah, act like you didn't do it. Act like you didn't do it. Look, I, I'm getting I, this 10-2. Fucking bullshit. Can't see the fucking, what the first slip. In. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. I just looked at this. <laughs> We're gonna test a five-inch intake that you made. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, it was tough getting a boot for it, so that's some of the problem. The five inch is extremely tight in this engine bay. There are some companies out here that have four and a half inch intakes, and they say they pick up, but I've never seen one bit of proof about it. Um, this thing went 990 with the stock air box on it, so I don't know if the five inch will pick up at all. I mean, it might, but this would be a good car to do it on because we are spinning the blower hard. It's ported, it's got headers. It doesn't have a cam or nothing, but you shouldn't need a cam to pick right, up with an right. intake, you know. So, I doubt it would pick up on a stock car, in my opinion, but, you know. We're just going to see if it picks up on this level, and if it picks up 10, 15, 20, I have no idea. Yeah, then maybe Maybe nothing. Some. I don't know. We're yeah. logging boost. So, I'll show you guys the boost with this intake and not another intake, and go forth from there. Yeah, here's a little preview, yo. Yeah. Just a prototype. Nothing yeah, it's crazy. nothing crazy. So. so it fits though, and that's the main gripe. Yeah. See what she does. Like I said, fresh belt. Everything should be. This pretty. is still a '93 too. Yeah, so. yeah. This is on '93. This car has what? Forty thousand miles. Forty thousand miles defects. <laughs> His wife daily drives this thing. Yeah. If you guys can't tell, I ain't knocking on them, but engine bay seen a little bit of dust. I think Fuzz wiped it down for us, but uh. It's a driver's car. It's a driver's car. There's nothing wrong with that though. That's how it's supposed to be. You know? 2025's coming out. Go ahead and scrap this thing, get the new one. 
See if I can pull the video. It was on 93 when it had the Yeah, the last time we did it, it was on 93. Okay, no, that's definitely 93. more than what it's it made. It's lean right there for some reason. Is it meth? Let me touch that up a little bit. What's the boost say on that? 22.2 20, and 21. So. Yeah, interesting. All right, so you want to touch the fuel up some? Yeah, the trims are a little off. Not a little, but I'll clean it up a little bit. But. Okay. The air fuel on that is like a half point leaner than the factory. It's like 12.8 on this, so it's. I probably pay attention to more of this than that, but it's still a little, a little off there. the same power 775 to the other white one is right there 775. oh man that was close that was real close to being exactly the same but uh see the graph is pretty identical but uh yeah still making about the same boost Been looking official so i'd say that's that's two runs two runs yeah touch the tune up some so 775 is where that air fuel is about three quarters of a point off compared to the car one, so that's, that's okay. It's like 12.6, so all good. Well, I guess it's time to throw our, our intake on there, right? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I think that, like, okay, so if I'm being positive and like something I'd be happy to see, I say if it picks up 20 wheel, that would be cool. God. Like, if it almost like. made 800 with the intake on it, that would be cool. I mean, it's up there. But Dude, I don't, that's aggressive because the stock one does do good. I hope it does, but I don't think I'll pick up. I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> it's feeling, making 22 pounds of boost. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling it might make like maybe 780 or something. You know what I mean? That's that's like a realistic, but you know, in fantasy world where we get everything our way, I'm saying it'll make 20 more. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So um, once we get this off, I'll give you guys kind of like a size comparison. But uh, this is kind of deceiving, but it's a lot skinnier through here than you that think. was at 134 MATs and 176 engine coolant temp on that. The one before is 172 engine coolant temp and 118 MATs. So right. it's so really a little bit hotter, still made the same power. Yeah, yeah, cool. So well, we're gonna get these swapped over. All right, y'all, we got the five inch installed so i'm gonna clear up this real quick there's no air box mainly because we wanted to try it first see if it would pick up at all in this trim and then if it does and everything works we'll go back over and make our own little air box you know hold on so but you wanted to make a mention about your guess yeah i said something off camera a minute ago so i was like looking more at the log and above 6300 here, it starts to peter off, but the boost still climbs. Green. So usually what that means is there is a restriction. I don't know if we'll see much of a difference through the middle, but up top I think we'll, we'll still be flat, if not climb a little bit. That's my educated guess. I don't know by how much, but. Okay. Well, I'm kind of excited to see what happens there. See how it might even lose a little down the bottom. Okay. I don't know. All right, well, let me throw a new battery in this and we'll make a pull. Okay.
hands up. Did the boot suck in? No. No, the boot survived. Boots yes, survived. fucking sir. Bob, where are you at? You owe me lunch. That's right. He'll Bob owes me lunch. Is that dirty? Yeah, Bob was hating on him. Bob was hating. He didn't even want to see Nick fail. That's dirty. That's up. No fucking way. It's dirty or And it even looks like it did pick up some through the middle there, bud. But like you said, like you I didn't said, pull it as hard up top. I was just seeing, I was like, man, let me make sure like he's right. sucking the boot shut, like right. so I stopped it a little early. Yeah, no, but you can see it's starting to carry more up top. That's a winner. Yeah. Yeah. That's a winner. 807 on 93. Yeah. yeah. And look at it. Look at it, Bill. Oh, this is a driver's car. 38,000. Yeah. So. I said 20 in like a, in like best case scenario. Let's see what the Pull on it and pull a little harder because I'm gonna compare it up here. I told you it's gonna start shining up top. That's what I figured is gonna happen, but it happened earlier than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah. So. So I'm sure you gotta do some more fuel trim cleaning and yeah. whatnot, but uh, the next pass should be a good one. Uh -huh. 23 so. is the end of the road on, on, on these roots, flowers too. Yeah. So. Yeah. Still crazy, dude. Here we are, 2024, with a uh, full bolt-on LT4, making over 800. Mm -hmm. Really, like 24 and a half pounds is done. You're done. Yeah. You make it over that, you're asking for it. Tears a bunch of shit up. All right, let's try it. All right, cool. Good job. Good job. Yeah, it's a little warm, but um, I kind of wanted to do that. It was the hottest pool of the day so far out of four pools. The first two were with the old intake. These two were with the new intake. I wanted to see what it do with some heat in it, you know, so no one would say, oh, you let it cool off a bunch, but um, it was hotter than the first two pools, so um, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Yeah, 807. Or no, 801, 801, sorry. but I carried it further that time to see um, what it'd do. 796 to 764, so. Yeah, 32 wheel up there. Yeah, I wanna end with, and let's keep this in mind. I do wanna mention this. This is an older Concord, so. We're gonna do some testing on the newer stuff. Yeah. So this is just what we wanted to test now, and then we're getting ready to spot blowers and let you all see that as well. This is the original export with the epoxy, so. Yeah. This is a two-year-old build almost at this point, right? Just about? Three. Almost three. He bought it in 20, end of 21, I yeah. think. Yeah, so I, I know that this, he had this car before I worked here. You know, I remember going to the track before I even worked here with this when you guys first kind of had it out at the track. So, you know, this is uh, not the most recent technology, but we're pick, chipping away. Also picked up torque through the middle as well. So this is the 801, the latest pull to the very first pull. So it's got the coolest pull compared to the hottest pull. So we, there's no question, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it actually picked up through everywhere. Uh, down here it picked up, not much, but you know, almost 10 down there but uh up here is really is above uh 
around 5,000 it starts breaking away, you know. Right. Right at 5,000, 5,066. And then all the way up here is where I thought it shined, and it did 801 to 774. So. Yeah. Not bad at all. Air fuel is within 0.1. Yep. Yep. The boost is. I mean, it's it's pound and some change higher. Yeah, I mean a pound and a half. So. Yeah, I would say that the uh, that hour five inch intake works. Now so. to make it look good and sell it. Yep. We're gonna make it look good with the box. And yeah, so I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah exactly. We'll get we'll exactly. get nice we'll get nice clothes. Yeah, it'll we just want to see if it works before we put too much time in it. Exactly. But these I had parts to make. 200 of them so yeah exactly. um when i order stuff i gotta order it all but i was willing to, willing do you to guys hear that infinity dude like can we get a a, a government issued ban on infinities that'd be cool <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of parts to make the stuff yeah. here so yeah this has been a long it. time coming mm -hmm. we just gotta make the box and uh make you know, powder coat it clean it and make it look good yeah which will be done don't you know where We'll make a little enclosure for that. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. Might look a little bit different in its final form. I wanna mention something. Where's tape measure? Tape measure. Uh, this is what the factory one is like. I was gonna tell you all something. That factory intake really ain't that small. No, it's not. It's five inch there on the outside, the outside, right? Right. So. See, that's about three and a half, three and three quarter. Mm hmm So. It's really not a bad intake from GM. It's not. You know. This so is like the closest thing. It like expands a, a five inch yeah, exactly. out here. Uh, so what you're picking up is from here down. Although our five inch piping is bigger than this boot we measured it. Um, right, it could literally slide right over top. It's not five inch actually, it's four and a half. It's four, a little bit over four and a half inside to inside. Right. They sell four, inch, four and a half inch intakes out there, so how much does it pick up? Yeah, I don't know, you tell me. I don't know, there's well, That's why I wanted to do a five inch, and this is why it took a while, cause like... There's getting, a reason why getting, nobody's done it. Hitting material is not like the, like piping, yeah, that, that boot's a little, we, we spent some time on that boot, yeah. so. And we're all busy, man, so. Yeah. But we might not be the first to do something, but we try to be the buffs, you yeah. know. Uh, 30 wheel gain is our way of showing it to you mm -hmm. so yeah um, stay tuned we got a lot more to do on this really by the time this by the time this video is out we'll have done a lot more so mm -hmm. we'll leave it here for now but uh get it up Steve. Coming. Yep. get it up <laughs>